Welcome to our next video. We're talking about buying a call, how to do it and how to watch, how to take a look at the value at expiration and at the profit made at expiration using this call. So we're talking about long call. You buy the right to buy a certain underlying, to buy a certain stock, for example. So this is the lines that can be sketched. The value, the value at expiration is the green line. So let x, for example, let x be, what did I say, 120. You buy the right to buy a certain underlying, a certain share, a given share, for $120. And the value at expiration of this very share may be 150. And we buy the, the call, the call is bought for $10 on initiation date. So those values, we get the, the following value, like the value at expiration is computed this way, maximum of two values of zero and S sub T minus X, giving us the maximum value of 150 minus 120, so the maximum value of 0 and 30, which means 30. So the value, the valued expiration of this, of this call is equal to 30. Is equal to 30 if we say 120 is maybe the exercise price and we take a look at 150. So 150 might be here. If the, if the value of the stock is 150 on expiration date, so we get, what did I just say? We get 30. We get 30, so here, right? This is the value at expiration. The value at expiration is equal to 30. Whereas, we have to keep in mind that we had to pay $10 for getting this, this call, for getting the right to buy a call at a very cheap price, at a very cheap price, at the exercise price, we had to pay $10. So we have to subtract those $10 from the value expiration of $30, giving us a profit of only $20, which means that this is 30, but this is equal to 20. So the profit is strictly, is of course strictly inferior to the value at expiration. The value at expiration is indicated by the green line, and whereas the profit is indicated by the red line. Twenty dollars of profit, whereas thirty dollars is the value at expiration. <clears throat> we can also see see that there is a maximum loss, that there is a maximum loss because of minus ten, because if the value at expiration of the given stock is not superior to the expiration to the price to the price of a hundred and what did I just say of 120 say the stock price will be a hundred what are you going to do if you are the owner of the call you don't exercise the call because the right the right to buy the given the given stock at 120 is inferior is inferior to buying the, the stock directly on the exchange for a hundred. So this might cause a this might cause the loss. And since you bought, since you just bought the call, that's the loss you have to incur. So maximum loss is equal to minus 10 in this given case. And the break-even, we can also compute break-even. Break even is equal to x, the exercise price, plus this given price of the call, equal to 130. So this is 130. Which means once the stock price is equal to 130, your total profit is just equal to zero. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.